On big hit, Zach McHugh for Newburyport. The Clippers trying to gain possession in the Amesbury zone. Amesbury able to clear as Julio cannot keep it in for Newburyport. Delayed off sides here. It's going to give Amesbury time to come out of the zone. In goal for Amesbury tonight, Trey Marcotte. Amesbury tries to break it up. Puck loose at center ice. Julio grabs it for Newburyport, dumps it back in. Clippers change up. Forrest is the last man to get off the ice for the Clippers. They go in on the attack now. Ainsbury tries to work it out of their own zone. Puck loose at center ice. Clippers dump it right back in. That's been the theme of the first minute. Clippers dump it in. Ainsbury can't get it through the neutral zone. Dump and chase to play for Newburyport. Down low is Brendan Curran. Curran has a man, loses his man. Spills gets it back to the point. Turnover there from the Clippers. There comes a chance for Ainsbury. Flying down the right side. Good back check by Newburyport's Curran. Good and Curran good with a great job. Cutting off the angle of the Amesbury forward there. Looked like a possible breakaway for a second, but the speed of Curran broke it up. Puck loose at center ice. Newburyport dumps it in. They will change it up. Caden Bedard back to get it for Amesbury. He has time in his own zone. Gets it up ahead to Hunter Belisle. Belisle dumps it in, and Amesbury looks to go on the attack now. Richard. Richard under there, loses it. Newbury reports puck in their own zone. Jack Sullivan tries to clear, cannot do it. Good for checking here by Amesbury. LeBlanc there for Amesbury. Maddox LeBlanc, puck loose behind the Newbury Port goal. Richard there, Richard throws it back to the point. Bedard for Amesbury, back to Richard, plays broken up. Chance for two on one here for Newbury Port. Here comes Sullivan. Sullivan has Cruz with him. This shot just goes high. Sullivan let it fly and he roped it over the crossbar. Puck comes all the way through to center ice, and back the other way comes Amesbury. The charge, wrist shot down the left side. He's knocked off his beat by Puglio. Big time hit there. Puglio is run into by Marcotte, who didn't like the hit that Puglio just gave. And boy, oh boy, is this a physical one here in the first two and a half minutes. Chance for Newburyport. Back the other way, wrist shot just goes wide. At the point, it was Eisenman. Newburyport keeps it in. Caponegro throws it down low. Nobody there, fresh off the bench. Oh, big time collision. McHugh for Newburyport, forces a turnover, wrist shot, just goes wide. Cruz with the chance after the big hit by McHugh. Good pressure here by Newburyport in the Amesbury zone. Puck comes back to the point, Caponegro swings it, good passing. Eisenman, wrist shot goes wide again. Clippers getting some good looks here, but they're not testing the goaltender, missing these shots just wide. Puck still in the Amesbury zone, trying to get it as Forrest. Forrest throws it back to the point, there's Eisenman. Eisenman down there to Forrest, big collision there in the corner. Eisenman and Nathan Brown colliding there. Amesbury desperately needs to get this puck out of the zone. Big hit, Forrest. Back to the point. Slap shot goes wide. Slap shot by Eisenman. Puck comes back to Eisenman. Gets some time again. Wrist shot wide again. Caponegro thought about trying to pinch in. He does not. That's going to allow Amesbury a chance to clear. Big time hit. Forces an icing. Benjamin Richard just sent that puck down the pond as he was about to get run into. Newbury board. Clippers are out in it. Throwing the weight around here. Both teams are really, but the first three and a half minutes here are energy packed on a Wednesday night at the Graff Arena in Newburyport. No score, Newburyport and Amesbury. 
from McGrath Rink. My name is Drew Mulholland. Thanks for joining us here. Senior night hockey in Newburyport. Face off in the Amesbury zone. One by Forrest. He works it not quite out. Kept in there. Wrist shot just goes wide by Ryan Thurbin in Newburyport. Puck in. Oh, left hand save. Looked like a harmless shot as Max Pudio just threw a kind of a quick snapshot in from the point. Didn't have much on it. But the Amesbury goaltender, Trey Marcotte, had to make the save. Left pad and covers it up, takes the whistle. 11-17 to go, score this first period. Face off to Marcotte's right. Braden Curran tries to push it forward. He gets it behind the Amesbury goal. I'm gonna have a whistle here. I think the net came off the moorings. And we will line it up and do it all over again. Face off again coming to Marcotte's right. Thank you for joining us. A little bit of live radio tonight. Something I am all too familiar with, with Newburyport Clippers hockey and the Cape Ann League. It's a deja vu here. Face off one by Amesbury in their own zone. Big collision in the corner. Good job by Newburyport keeping this puck in. Now Amesbury is able to clear. Chasing after it for Newburyport is Ryan Philbin. And icing waved off. Ooh, I don't think Philbin was expecting that. Could have been an icing, but Philbin now skates it out of his own zone with speed. Gains the red line, dumps it in. Kane Brennan chases after it. He's first to it for Newburyport. He's got some help coming. Puck throw. Ooh, wrist shot just goes wide. By Braden Curran. Amesbury's trying to work it out of their own zone. Belisle with speed. Oh, good move by Belisle. Right side, wrist shot, big time save. Oh, it's a big tester. Jameson Brooks steers it away with the right pad. Clippers need to clear. Amesbury's puck behind the Newburyport goal. With it is Venturi. Venturi looking for some help in front. Venturi looking to throw it to Richard. Another save there in front. Battle in the corner now. Loose puck. With it is Venturi. He's had a good shift here for Amesbury. Newburyport able to work it out to the neutral zone. Good shift, the best one of the game so far there by Amesbury. Richard tries to dump it in, he gets run into. Caponegro back to get it. Spins on a dime in his own zone for Newburyport. Caponegro gets hooked down. Newburyport's gonna go on the power play. Caponegro with some smooth skating coming out of his own zone. Clear hook, the stick got into his chest area right along the hips. Caponegro went down. One of the Amesbury players thought he went down a little easily. He made sure to have a few words there with both Caponegro and the official. But to the box goes Maddox LeBlanc of Amesbury and on the power play. The first power play of the game go to Newbury for Clippers. Charles Forrest going to take the draw for Newbury Port. Loose puck at the faceoff dot and the Clippers come away with it. Julio at the top, lets it go, wrist shot, hit a skate in front. Down goes McHugh, puck comes back to the point. It's Philbin, Philbin, ooh, good little fake pass, throws it in on net, good time, big time save. It's Tyler Bartniski. Mixing at my goaltender, sorry, Trey Marcotte with the save. He's looking at the back of goaltender, who's applauding his current goaltender. Trey Marcotte with the save, covers it up, face off to his right. Clippers will look to reset the power play here as they win the draw. Ryan Philbin gets it down low. McHugh, we can pass loose in front. Chance there for Newburyport, can't quite get the loose puck, and Amesbury clears the zone. Back to get it for Newburyport is Max Puglio, the captain. Quarterback in the power play here, has it behind his own goal. Julio quickly up to Philbin, gains the neutral zone. Philbin now gains the blue line. He's got some space, takes one hand off to get, fend off the defender, circles the Amesbury goal. Philbin back to the point, McHugh. McHugh has some space. He gives it back to Philbin. Philbin lets a wrist shot go. Big time save there by Marcotte. Amesbury has some time here, and they will clear the zone. Puck loose at center ice. Newbury Port needs to reset with a minute left on the power play. Gaining the blue line. Palermo, oh, big time hit. 15 on 15 crime as Brody Marcotte said we're Palomino flying. Amesbury able to clear the zone and will kill off valuable seconds on this Newburyport power play. Ooh, turnover here. Jameson Brooks tried to get a stretch pass and now Newburyport turns it back over and Newburyport has a rush. Here comes Braden Curran with speed down the right side. Curran with shot. Big time saved by Marcotte. 
held this post nicely as Curran was flying down the right wing. The big goaltender, Trey Marcotte of Amesbury. And when I say big, he is considerably bigger than Jameson Brooks in the Newburyport net. Number 31, Trey Marcotte. It has to be one of the bigger goaltenders here in this Cape Ann League. Newburyport wins the draw. Big time shot, Marcotte with the save. Slap shot from the point. Caden Iserman let it fly. Another whistle face off to the Amesbury, to the left of the Amesbury goaltender, Marcotte. Puck one by the Clippers. Shot from the point deflected in front. Braden Curran tried to get a piece of it. Still the Clippers puck here. Final 10 seconds of the power play. Behind the Amesbury goal, puck thrown in front is Curran. Puck comes back to Caponegro. Down low to Brennan. And Amesbury clears the zone. Ooh, out of the box. There's a chance there for LeBlanc. Couldn't quite get it. Just a second too late out of the box. And the LeBlanc hit. Ooh, that's dangerous. LeBlanc lays a body into Caponegro. And the Zamboni door behind the Newburyport bench blows open. This is very dangerous. Good thing it wasn't a follow through hit. My goodness. The officials and the Zamboni crew back there working on it, making sure that thing's secure. Very dangerous moment there at the graph. Lucky to escape that one. 7.36 to go, scoreless first period. Newburyport, Amesbury, face off in the Newburyport zone to the right of goaltender Jameson Brooks. Face off one by the Clippers. Max Pudio flips it out, goes high. Just barely keeps it under the ceiling here at the low graph ceiling. Good report now on the attack in the Amesbury zone. Clippers crowd wants a call. Borderline hit from behind. Refs let him play. Battle in the Amesbury zone in the corner to the right of the goaltender Markov. Good work down there. One on two. Hunter Belisle, the Amesbury leader there, is able to help get that puck out of the zone. But it's right back in as the Clippers dump in and chase. Amesbury working it through the neutral zone now, and they offsides. Blue missed call. It was right in front of me. I got a good look at it. Left let it go on. Puck loose in the Newburyport zone, though. No, no harm, no foul. Back the other way come the Clippers. Jack Sullivan left side into the Amesbury zone. Nice move. Stops on a dime. Wrist shot. Save. Rebound loose in front. Amesbury corrals it back the other way. Come Amesbury. Hunter B. Lyle gains the zone, dumps it in, and this will go. For an icing against Amesbury with 6.29 to go. First period, no score, Newburyport and Amesbury. Again, Newburyport comes into this one on senior night at 8, 6, and 2. Trying to make a good push here late, get some momentum going into the tournament. Amesbury, all games important for them at 7 and 6. Face off taken by Amesbury. And Rice played in Gordon. Newbury Port grabs it, dumps it right back into the Amesbury zone. Will Palomino is down there. McHugh comes in to lend support. Charles Forrest chases after it in the other corner in the Amesbury zone. Amesbury able to work it out to center Rice. Loose puck right at the center Rice dot. Amesbury dumps it in. Back to get it for Newbury Port is Eisenman. Here come the Clippers. McHugh gains the blue line. Looks for some help. He's one on three. Let's a wrist shot go wide, maybe intentionally wide. As he had Charles Forrest coming. Amesbury ices the puck again. Amesbury a little bit on their heels right now. The Newburyport pressure is getting to them. It's been mostly Newburyport here in this first period. But I will say, all the shots in Newburyport has the good looks they've been getting. Not as many testers as they'd like on the goaltender for Amesbury. Trey Marcotte, a lot of these shots missing wide. Face off in the Amesbury zone. Braden Curran tries to kick it back to the point. Needs some help. He got that help. This shot on the point. Goes wide. Marcotte tried to grab it with a glove. Couldn't quite do it. It comes back. Right point now. Philbin. It's a wrist shot though. Puck is loose in front. Corralling it there. Is the Clippers. Back to Philbin. Philbin lets a wrist shot go. Another save. Puck is loose in front. Ooh, looking behind him it was Marcotte, the Amesbury goaltender, but he had it smothered. He did take a peek behind him, Marcotte did, but it's going to be a face-off. 
again in the Amesbury zone here. 5.18 to go score this first period. Newburyport and Amesbury. For all, the, all of you listening on Joppa Radio, we appreciate you. This is nice to have you on board in your car or whatever. Probably not the boat this time of year, but who knows? I shouldn't rule that out around these parts. And of course, to our NCM Hub TV team, we appreciate you very much as well. Amesbury wins the draw, but again, that quick Newburyport pressure forces another icing, so a little bit choppy here with 5.09 to go, first period. Coach Mean gonna throw out that big, in, big line here at Charles Forrest, Will Palomino, Zach McHugh. McHugh off the draw, steps in, oh, shot save, rebound, McHugh puts it back to the point. Caponegro ends up with it. Nice pump fake. Caponegro lets it go. He hits his own player, Palomino. And back the other way comes Amesbury. Red line is gained. They dump it in. Shot it up on goal. Brooks steered it away to the corner. Amesbury trying to put some pressure on here. Turn the tide a little bit in the new Newburyport zone. Puck is behind the Newburyport goal. Eisenman back to get it. Takes a hit to make a play. And actually may have dished out more of that hit right there. Is Number 18, Brady Coburn for Amesbury went flying. Coburn ends up getting the puck in the neutral zone. Oh, Kofi goes flying again. Run into by Zach McHugh. Very tough shift at the moment for Brady Coburn, but he bounces right back up. He's ready to go. Clippers puck at center ice. Forrest lets a wrist shot go from a distance. Again through the glove of Marcotte. Keep an eye on that. That's two stabs at fairly harmless wristers that Marcotte has not handled well, but... Hasn't hurt him yet. Amesbury dumps it into the Newburyport zone. Brooks can't handle it with the stick, so it's going to be Amesbury's puck here. See if they can get a little action going. Puck comes back to the point. Good block. Newburyport clears the zone. Zachary McHugh sacri sacrificing the body there to block that shot. Amesbury puck at center ice. Marcotte. Brody Marcotte loses it. Newburyport, long stretch pass back the other way. Jack Sullivan tries to spin it back. Needs some support. Gets it from Cruz for the moment. Sullivan again. Puck thrown in front. Good chance in front for Pons. Oliver Pons. But that shot is blocked. And back the other way comes Amesbury. Quickly into the Newburyport zone. Amesbury's Hunter Belisle throws it back to the point. With some space. Wrist shot. Fanned on by Nathan Brown. And back the other way come the Clippers. Jack Sullivan. Sullivan gets it in deep. Chases after his own dump in. Takes a hit. Owen Cruz in there trying to throw his body around. Puck thrown in front. Nobody there for Newburyport. Good shoulder to shoulder hit. Oliver Pons. He dumps it in. Looking for Cruz behind the Ansbury goal. Right off the bench. Braden Curran. Curran as Newburyport's in a partial change here. Clippers going to be careful. They turn it over. Amesbury's puck now through center ice. And now that is going to cost Newburyport a penalty. I told you it looked a little bit frantic there as Newburyport got caught in a change. We had a hook at center ice as Amesbury brought that puck out of their own zone. And Amesbury is going to get their first power play of the game here. Looking for a little momentum at the end of the first period. 2.49 to go in our first period. A scoreless first period, Newburyport and Amesbury. As you can hear, a very electric out here in Newburyport, as always. Big home ice advantage, as always. Face off to the left of the goaltender, Brooks. Puck end up, ends up behind the Newburyport goal. Clippers clear. Nice work there by Ryan Philbin, the senior defenseman for Newburyport. Amesbury working out of their own zone. They turn it over. Good job. This power play penalty kill, I should say, was great for Newburyport the other day first. Triton. Killed, uh, I believe it was that second period for Triton. They killed three in a row off. And really didn't let Triton get anything going. And it is a similar story right now. Amesbury having a tough time getting through that Newburyport trap on this penny penalty kill. Amesbury still yet to bring this puck past the red line. They have it again at center ice. And again, Newburyport grabs this puck. Few bodies thrown at center ice. Charles Forrest calmly, coolly throws it down the pond. It's going to kill more time. Minute five left on the Amesbury power play. Through center ice for Amesbury. Matthew Venturi. He loses it. Newburyport throws it down the pond again. 55 seconds left in the power play. Still nothing going for Amesbury. 
comes McElhaney. It's Cam Richard, actually. Cam Richard with that puck, tried to set something up for Amesbury. They're having a heck of a time trying to get this thing through center ice and into the Clipper zone. Finally, they do. On the attack goes Amesbury. First to the puck goes Puglio for Newburyport. He can't quite clear. Turnover in the slot. Wrist shot is blocked. Good job in front. Puglio was diving to his knees. Ryan Philbin was in there and blocked that shot, and it actually hits the ceiling here at the graph. So we're going to have a face-off in the Newburyport zone. 117 to go. School this first period. Newburyport and Amesbury. 28 seconds to go on the penalty to Kane Brennan. Junior forward. Face-off won by Amesbury. Puck comes back to the point. Brody Marcotte. Good little vision. Swing pass right side. Brooks makes the save. Steers it to the corner. Loose puck in the Newburyport corner. Cameron Caponegro tries to wrap it around his own goal, clear it out the long way, can't quite do it. Four bodies collide on the sidewall and Newburyport works it out. We are under a minute to go in this scoreless first period. Power play is now up for Amesbury, a successful kill from the Newburyport Clippers. Nathan Brown back to get it, takes a hit in his own zone for Amesbury. Amesbury trying to clear. And they do. Puck loose at center ice. With it for Amesbury is Matthew Venturi. Tried to split two defenders. Couldn't quite do it. Back the other way comes Newburyport. Braden Curran up to Sullivan. Sullivan tries to throw it in front. Instead drops it back to Curran. In the corner now. Curran wrist shot. Goes up high to flex. I believe it hit the netting and then got stuck behind the Amesbury net. So with 17 seconds to go, it'll be an offensive zone faceoff for the Newburyport Clippers. Again, no score here. This thing's been a battle. Cody Orell for Newburyport on the draw. Kane Brennan, wrist shot, save Marcotte, wrist shot from the distance. Colby Orell, Kane Brennan. Christian Joyce, Coach Ian giving these guys a run here. Another group of forwards trying to show that depth. Three seconds to go, first period. We're going to have a whistle to the left of Marcotte. One last chance for Newburyport if they can win the draw. On the draw is Arelli. Does win the draw cleanly. Wrist shot. Ooh, almost got through. Good chance by Newburyport's Christian Joyce there. Right as the buzzer sounds, that will do it. Scoreless first period here from the graph rink in Newburyport on senior night. My name is Drew Mulholland for our NCM hub crew we appreciate you joining us here on a wednesday night and our joppa Af joppa radio listeners as well if you're listening from the car the boat the house we appreciate you listening live as well good to have you on board score this first period newburyport and amesbury we'll see you back for the second shortly all right welcome back to the graph rink in newburyport Getting you ready for second period action here in just a moment. I am joined by the athletic director here at Newburyport, Kyle Hobson. How are you, Kyle? Doing great, thanks. Good to thanks see you. Andrew. That was an entertaining first period, I thought. Yeah, it's a very, uh, very good Amesbury team this year. It's fast game, physical, and uh, you know I think it's going to continue the next two periods. Eight, six, and one, I think, for your team. Maybe eight, six, and two. But uh, Coach Mean, I think, is kind of liking the m momentum of his crew right now as you get closer to the postseason. Yeah, we've played uh, very well um, since we've uh, been at full strength, you know, coming back after break and won some big games um, against some of the top teams in our league and, and also against uh, top teams in our division. So um, I'm playing at the right time. We Two weeks from tonight is the last uh, regular season game in the bank tournament, and then it's the playoffs. Right now we're ranked sixth in the state, which uh, would guarantee us uh, two home games if we win. Uh, and if we could, you know, get up to the number four spot, that would give us three. So home ice in the playoffs obviously is a, is a big advantage. Especially this home ice, as I have the pleasure of calling this game right behind your student section. They are loud and into this in every way. Yeah, that's a big advantage, at, uh, you know, in any season for us. Our, our, we get great support, you know, and uh, it definitely uh, gives us a home uh, court or home ice advantage. There's always uh, something nice about this particular night. I always like the senior night. It's you know, got the parents, you got flowers, you got the posters on the wall. It's a little uh, hockey romanticism about it all, right? Yeah, you know, it's a night to, to thank these guys for, for all the effort that they've put in for four years. Uh, 
you know, getting up early and practicing and, you know, and also also for parents who, who uh, have shown their support. So it's a, it's a nice night and hopefully that we can put some uh, numbers up on the board here and give them a win on senior night. I know it's been a busy winter in general for you guys. You get a lot of programs, a lot of teams doing a lot of good things. Anybody want to name drop here? Uh, not just maybe not just the hockey teams, but outside of that. Uh, yeah, I mean our boys track team continues to pretty much uh, dominate the, any meet that they're in, and um, you know at the at the local level and the state level. So we're looking forward to them in their state their state meet. Uh, our girls basketball team is ranked number five in the state, uh, so they have a, a chance to. to really challenged towards the uh in the state tournament our boys basketball team just clinched the uh the, the cape ann league championship last night so our girls track team although they didn't win the cape ann league they finished uh third overall last night in the cal open and finished second in the in the league so our, our uh, ski teams are uh continuing to get better and our swim team co-op with triton the girls just won their second consecutive cal title and our boys finished second so it's it's a great, great winter so far. Awesome. And uh, last but not least, I just want to ask you, so many great rivalries in this league. This is another one. You just had a win over Triton in this rink the other night. Um, now you got Amesbury. Amesbury travels well, too. I see them filling up the student section. There's something special about this league, isn't there, all these rivalries? It, it is. Uh, the board of games, the teams that we play multiple uh, multiple times in multiple sports. You know, it starts with football, Thanksgiving game carries over and also you know we played Amesbury last night in boys and girls basketball so it's Amesbury weekend it was Triton week last week so uh, and next week is Pentucket week so uh, it, it kind of carries over from sport to sport and there's a lot of pride in this group in front of you uh, really leads that charge. Well, thank you for coming up here and joining us. Kyle Hodson, the AD at Newburyport. Uh, we have, we're getting some complaints about the intermission uh, entertainment, so we said let's just keep it off the rink. We That's thank it. you. All right, we thank you. you. Kyle Hodson, Newburyport Athletic Director, nice enough to take a few minutes here with us and uh, work us through that first, first intermission. Very lovely. And uh, we thank you all for joining us. As both teams are now on the ice here, we're getting ready for second period action. Amesbury and Newburyport, it was a scoreless first period, both teams with some good chances. I would say Newburyport probably had the better of the play and the better of the chances, but Amesbury certainly uh, is ready to fight here tonight. Trey Marcotte in goal for Amesbury, very large goaltender compared to Jameson Brooks in Newburyport. Looks like a monster down there, but it's been a good goaltender master up here so far. Clippers go. All five of them like they usually do. All five starters here to start the second period. Go down, tap the goaltender on the pads. The officials are just making sure that door behind the Amesbury goal now uh, is shored up. We had that big hit there in the first period in the very dangerous play. The door flew open, the Zamboni door. That would be the big door, so luckily nobody went flying through. It could have been a bad moment. No injuries, though. Everybody was okay. Just shoring up that jaw. A pretty good job by the official there, actually. We should keep an eye on that thing as we go. Right off the faceoff, Newburyport throws it down the pond. It's going to be an icing. First 10 seconds here. I think that was a drawn-up play there off the faceoff by Newburyport. I just looked over and all three Newburyport coaches, Yamin, Gadatis, Mo Pallant, were all yelling something of the same thing. They all did it in unison. Those are three guys that have been together quite a bit for many years. Three great guys, might I add. Face-off is eventually corralled here by Newburyport. Through center ice, come the Clippers. McHugh, right side, wrist shot. Blocker saved by Mark. Oh, good chance there from Newburyport. Puck thrown in front. Oh, point-blank shot. Big time save. Mark on rebound goes wide. Poe Nino with the first chance. McHugh with the second. Marcotte steers it away. Amesbury puck in their own zone. And a desperate icing here as the Amesbury defense was under pressure. Good shift there by the Clippers to start the second period. Faceoff's going to come down to the right of Marcotte. 14-12 to go. In the second period. Faceoff. Battle in the Amesbury zone. Who's going to corral the loose puck? It's going to be Newburyport. Good job by Christian Joyce. These guys getting rewarded with another shift after that good shift to end the first period. Kane Brennan trying to push it back to the point. He does, but only momentarily as Brigham Burnham tries to work it out. Clippers send it right back into the Amesbury zone, though. Scott Lundy there. Lundy 
Trying to work it up. Ainsbury able to get it to center ice, but that Clippers trap is able to force a turnover. Braden Curran gets it up ahead to Caponegro. The defenseman pitching in. Puck thrown in front. Grabbed there by Marcotte. A few bodies pushing around there. Cameron Caponegro in a little bit of a battle. But a whistle and a face-off in the Amesbury zone. My name is Drew Mulholland. Second period action here. Newburyport, Amesbury. <clears throat> Newburyport and Amesbury in a scoreless second period. 13.31 to go. Big thanks to our NCM Hub crew. Face-off won by Newburyport. Wrist shot goes wide. Jack Sullivan with the chance. Puck thrown in front. Amesbury able to clear the zone. Puck loose at center ice. Maddox of Blank drags it into the Newburyport zone. Puck bounces high up, almost hit the ceiling. Newburyport able to clear the zone with the help of Oliver Pons, who threw it high off the half wall there. Puck loose at center ice. Cruise to Sullivan. Sullivan gets it in deep. He's one on two. Throws a hit into Riley Geerton. Maddox LeBlanc back to get it. Swings it to Nathan Brown in his own zone for Amesbury. Amesbury throws it to center ice. Clippers quickly grab it, look to go back on the attack. They dump it in. Puck goes wide of Marcotte. On the attack comes Charles Forrest of Newburyport. Good forecheck. Charles Forrest gets the steal. Spin move in the corner, trying to create some space. Throws it in front. Puck comes loose to the point. Slap shot, rebound. Couple chances on the Clippers. Puck loose in front. Amesbury able to corral that puck in. Almost clear the zone. Forrest keeps it in, just barely. Newburyport remains on the attack. Puck thrown in front again. Amesbury trying desperately to clear, and they finally do. Good pressure there by Newburyport. They dump it right back in, though. Amesbury under relentless Newburyport pressure here to start this second period. Amesbury clears the zone. It would have been an icing, but the shot ends up on goal. Jameson Brooks steers it to Caponegro. Caponegro trying to get it up to Forrest, the big lefties. Flying down the left side on the forecheck. And there's the turnover. Forrest has it. Wrist shot blocked, and Marcotte is able to corral a what ended up being a slowly bouncing puck his way as the Charles Forrest shot was blocked. I don't know if they call him Charlie, but I'm gonna start calling him Charlie. That was a great shift by him. Flying around the ice. He goes one of the taller, tall, lanky. Long stride skater out there. Charles Forrest face off. One by the Clippers shot. Save. Rebound. Puck in the crease. It's loose. Amesbury players jumping on it. That's going to go to goal. It's going to be a new bridge for a goal. As the puck went straight up into the air. The goaltender Marcotte never saw it. He was out in front of the crease as the puck was laying behind him. Two Amesbury players ended up in the goal trying to keep the puck out. And the referee signals goal. A wild first goal of this hockey game goes Newburyport's way. Clippers lead 1-0 on single night. They're not always pretty, but they count. 1-0 Newburyport. We'll see who they give credit to on the goal. The wrist shot went straight up into the air. I'm not sure if it hit any traffic on the way through. We'll have to wait for the official scoring announcement. Amesbury looking to get a shift going here on their own end. New report trying to work it out of the zone. They do. Amesbury's Joey Duggan tries to clear the zone. Big hit there by Newbury Port. Force a turnover. Christian Joyce. Kane Brennan. Brennan to Joyce. And Braden Curran trying to crash the net. Marcotte's going to take a whistle for Amesbury and cover that puck up. 11.03 to go. Second period. 1-0 Newburyport. On what was a grinder of a first goal. Good four checking. Good offensive zone pressure from the Newburyport Clippers. I still haven't heard an announcement on the goal. And it's... Interesting. I believe the voice, our usual PA man, I believe, is maybe not here tonight. Maybe that is why. We did have a live national anthem, which was lovely, so I know the microphone's working. Try to follow this developing story for you at the graph. Amesbury trying to work it out of their own zone. Another big hit down low. It was Newburyport's Devo that time. Devo and Brian Lucy seeing some skating time. Cameron Caponegro. Kaden Eisenman out there. 
Face off to the left of the Amesbury goaltender, Marcotte. Forrest back out there, that top line for Newburyport. He's on the draw, one cleanly back to Caponegro. Gets it back to Forrest, puck loose at the Newburyport. The Amesbury blue line, Clippers have to tag back up though as it delayed offsides. Amesbury was able to work that puck out. At center ice for Newburyport, Julio dumps it in. Amesbury has some time to reset. Tic-tac-toe passing through center ice. Venturi, Venturi, wrist shot. Jameson Brooks, ooh, there's a sneaky little shot by Matthew Venturi. Good save by Brooks, and he takes the whistle. Venturi looking five hole there. 10-11 to go. Second period, 1-0 Newburyport. I will get the credit for you on the goal as soon as I know it myself. It's some of the Amesbury TV crews up here looking for the same answer I am, so you will see. Through center rice comes McHugh from Newburyport. Drops it back to Palomino. Palomino back to McHugh in the corner in the Amesbury zone. Throws it out in front. Good chance there for Palomino. Couldn't quite find the handle, and back the other way comes Amesbury. Puck loose in the Newburyport zone. Clippers try to work it out. Wrist shot goes wide. Amesbury Scott Lundy let it fly wide. Palomino brings it up through center ice for Newburyport. Takes a hit. Big time collision in front of the Newburyport student section. Here comes Amesbury with a chance. Good defensive play. Captain Eagle, Max Puglio, sorry. Max Puglio. Clippers have a couple defensemen. Not exactly the biggest guys in the world, but man, do they pack a punch. Good play by Puglio. Knocking the Amesbury forward off the puck. Clippers on the four check now. After it goes Palomino. Puck free at the Amesbury blue line. Turn over there. Newburyport's puck. Nice job. Oliver Pons gets it down low. Has Palomino helping him out. Those two try to dig it out behind the Amesbury goal. Puck comes loose in the corner. Brody Marcotte ices it for Amesbury. It's going to be another face-off in the Amesbury zone with 8.43 to go in the second period. 1-0 Newburyport on a Wednesday night. Senior night in Newburyport. Still a lot of chatter up here, but who they officially gave the goal to. You never heard an official announcement. I don't think it's that they're still looking at the replay, so we will get to the bottom of it. Face off one by Newburyport, offensive zone pressure, turned over, back the other way comes Amesbury. Just for the moment as Cam Richard tried to bring that puck out, puck loose at center ice, Amesbury on the attack, there goes Maddox LeBlanc, let's get some speed into the corner, LeBlanc throws it out in front, Cam Richard is there, he lets the shot go, blocked, Scott Lundy has it at the point for Amesbury. Swings it back around to Bedard. Bedard's shot is blocked. Two on one chance for Newburyport if they hustle back the other way. It is Caponegro. Gets it up to Sullivan. He shot score! <laughs> Sullivan got it back to Caponegro, who finishes it off. Jumps into the Newburyport student section. Almost does. Thought about climbing the glass. Clippers celebrating right in front of their student section. It is 2 0 Newburyport on a beautiful goal. Two on one action. Sullivan to Caponegro, 2 0 Clippers. We love Caponegro! We love Caponegro! Good stuff there. You hear the Capi chant, which I believe is a Caponegro chant there. Another play. Ooh, the door is going to be short up here. I don't. Newburyport on a weird change there. And then a big hit right in front of the Newburyport bench. The door hadn't quite closed yet. Two of those kind of fluke almost issues here tonight. I like that. So Captain Negro's nickname is Cappy apparently here. I've just learned from the student section. 2 0 Clippers. 7 31 to go. Second period here from the graph in Newburyport. My name is Drew Mulholland. Thank you to our NCM Hub team bringing you the TV action. For all of you watching and here also going live on the radio, Joppa Radio. Tonight, we appreciate you listening in there. Newburyport, hockey on the radio. Always a good thing. Back the other way come the Clippers off the draw. Wrist shot. Marcotte makes the save on 
Jackson to Vivo. And I think Amesbury here might be taking a time out. It has been all Newburyport for the first half of this second period here. It was a scoreless first period, and Newburyport has absolutely come out flying. I think the coach, Steve Costa of Amesbury, had seen enough, and he wants to try to regroup his guys here. Amesbury in their visitors' red, now trailing 2 0. Newbury Ports coach Paul Yamin huddling his guys up. Again, 8 6 and 2 for Newbury Port Clippers are. So they're feeling good going in for me, trying to gain some momentum here as they approach tournament play. Seven twenty-five to go in the second period here as the referee calls call these guys back out. Let's keep play going on here. Faceoff is going to remain in the Amesbury zone. And the draw for Newbury Court. It's going to be Brian Lucy. Amesbury able to work it out to the neutral zone. They come, stolen there though by Lucy. Lucy throws it in, big time hit. Cloud wanted to call. Off the puck there. Marcotte takes a hit, trying to work it out of his own zone. Looking to reset comes Newburyport. Max Puglio dumps it in, icing waved off. He had gained the red line. Colby Arell getting some good time tonight. Chance here for Ainsbury, about the way. Long stretch pass. Brody Marcotte had a chance. He actually missed it. He tried to glove it with the right hand. I think the missed swipe with the right hand kind of cost him a chance at a possible breakaway. Back the other way comes the blue court. Zach McHugh throws it back to the point. Shot from number five. Max Puglio was deflected. Good look, but it was deflected and then goes up into the ceiling. We'll have a whistle and another faceoff in the Ainsbury zone. Six thirty-three to play. Two nothing Newbury for second period. Face off one by the Clippers. Great chance. Oh man, Zach McHugh got that puck right in the slot and was point blank. His shot gets fired up off a of Ainsbury stick, however, and goes high and into the netting. We'll do it all over again. Face off to the left of Marcotte. Same chance. Same exact play. This time Marcotte grabs it with the glove. Takes another whistle. McHugh is getting any look he wants here. Forrest keeps winning this face off draw and just leaving that puck right behind him for McHugh. It's a beautifully drawn up play. Let's see if they do it again. Third time might be the charm. And Amesbury is able to get push it right out here off the faceoff. So not the third time there for Newbury Port. Good chances though in the Amesbury zone. Offsides, Amesbury, 6-12 to play, second period. Again, big thanks to our NCM Hub crew here. They work hard all day and tonight. And hello to everybody. Maybe just checking in and finding some new report hockey on their radio as they drive around the city. Face off corral by new report. They work it up through the neutral zone. Puck jumped in and chasing after it is Charles Forrest. Forrest has been flying around all night, big time, hit it in the corner. Tries to force a turnover, and he does. Puck comes loose to McHugh. Big time shot, big time save by Marcotti. Look behind him. Oh boy, it was a good job by 15 in Newburyport. Palomino, he made a nice little pass after the Forrest hit. Got it to McHugh, point blank. You feel like McHugh is going to get one here at some point. He is getting good looks galore right now. 5.48 to go. Second period, 2 0 Newburyport. Face off to the left of the goaltender Marcotte. Again, the puck comes right in on him. Amesbury is just, I don't know if it's tired legs right now. I see a lot of guys, sticks on knees here, hunched over. I think this Newburyport pressure of the first period, it was a fly in first period for both teams, but the Newburyport depth and the Newburyport speed and overall toughness might be catching up to Amesbury here. Face off one by the Clippers. Pulio, wrist shot blocked, deflects into the corner in the Amesbury zone. 
Puck comes out in front. Amesbury can't quite clear. The shot, Curran's blocked. Puck comes loose to Curran again. Puck loose, score! New report. The Romanian's pressure pays off again. I think we're gonna have a redirect. We have Curran through it in front. I think we're gonna have possibly Kane Brennan get credit with that. It was one of the lefties out there for New report. I think this goal is gonna end up going to Kane Brennan for Newburyport. Trying to get another look at it. And it is gonna be Kane Brennan. We'll just check it out here with the Newburyport help. Kane Brennan just put it in front of the traffic, redirecting that puck in. It's always a nice moment. Kane Brennan, not a senior on senior night, junior scoring on senior night. Good stuff by Kane, good pressure by Newburyport, and they are looking for more. Now with a 3 0 lead here, second period, 5 6 to play. I've also been telling you they're trying to pay off that first Newburyport goal. We think it's Tristan Joyce. Again, no PA here on the goals tonight, so it gets a little bit tricky with the officials, but we believe it was Tristan Joyce getting credit for that first Newburyport goal. Another junior. It's becoming junior night on senior night here in Newburyport. Clippers now with a commanding 3-0 lead. 4.40 to play in the second period. Puck thrown in front by Joyce again, Tristan Joyce. As soon as I gave him credit for the goal, he was looking for another one. <laughs> Tyler Marcotte with the glove save for Amesbury and takes a whistle. Marcotte under relentless pressure here, four and a half. 4.30 to go in this second period. 3-0 Clippers lead. Coach Paul Yamin has the arms folded, no smile, which is his happy look over there. He's going to be pleased with the way his Clippers have came out here in this second period. He doesn't always show it, but I know he's proud of his guys out there. It's been a good second period effort. Amesbury chance back the other way. Backhand by Venturi is gloved by Jameson Brooks, who's going to take a whistle. And Amesbury, for the first time in a long time, is going to have a face-off in the Newburyport zone. Hunter Belisle wins the draw, but the wrist shot is deflected up into the netting. 4.19 to go, second period. Face-off won by Amesbury. Wrist shot, oh, deflected, good save by Brooks, and then he has to hold the post there. There's a couple Amesbury guys are looking to bat home the rebound. Good job by Brooks. Brooks, I wouldn't say has been tested incredibly hard tonight by Amesbury, but he's he's steady. He played well first Triton the other day in a shutout too, so he's got quite a shutout streak going on right now. The senior goaltender for Newburyport. Referee kicks an Amesbury man out of the draw, and that allows Newburyport to easily win the draw. Back the other way come the Clippers. Palomino there was looking for the cue, cut into the net. McHugh and Charles Forrest throwing their weight around in the corner. Puck comes loose to Forrest behind the Amesbury goal. Throws it in front. Comes all the way back to the point. Philbin has it. Wrist shot. Oh, it's to redirect and just over the crossbar. Good pass by Max Puglio as well. Puck comes back to Puglio. Can't quite keep it in. That was a tough one. Bouncing puck over Puglio. Look at the speed by Puglio. He had to stop from a dead stop position. He gets back. Chance for Amesbury though as they force a turnover. Locked. I don't think that puck ever got through to the goaltender, Jameson Brooks, back the other way, Newburyport. Marcotte's going to stop a wrist shot, glove it, and take the whistle. Amesbury on a good little four check there. First, the turnover, and the wrist shot was in on Brooks. And Brooks, I don't think, saw it, but I also don't think it ever got through to him. Face off in the Amesbury zone. One by Newburyport, but Amesbury is able to kind of kick it out of the zone there. Some bodies were tied up. Brody Marcotte brings it into Newburyport zone, loses it back the other way. Come the Clippers. Arell dumps it in, takes the hit to get it in deep. Puck comes loose. Back to the point. Caponegro. Ooh, nice stick work by Caponegro. Good skating. Throws it in front. Looking for DeVivo. DeVivo tried to get a piece of it, put it. Brian Lucy was in there to help him out. DeVivo throws it in front, was blocked. Amesbury puck behind their own goal. Amesbury trying to work it out. 
And we have a whistle again, that door behind the Amesbury goal now. If you walk into the Graff Arena, you know the Zamboni is on your right, and it's that door. It's the one right in front of the Zamboni entrance that has now loosened up twice. Graff and Old Rink, of course. I noticed they got some guys standing down there just to make sure that thing stays latched. It's not one of the colder nights in Newburyport, but a nice day here on Wednesday. Felt like spring, actually. Face off to the right of the goaltender, Marcotte. Puck gets pushed right to him off the draw. He takes the whistle. Marcotte trying to take as many whistles as he can, I think, right now. As he notices Amesbury is on their heels. Newburyport on the attack pretty consistently throughout this second period. It was a scoreless first period, but here in the second, Newburyport has tallied three. Back to the point, Philbin, shot deflected, puck loose in front, score! Graydon Cullen grabbed the rebound off of Ryan Philbin, Scott. Ryan Philbin shot, Graydon Cullen, nice little move, dragged it to the backhand, went top shelf over the goaltender, Marcotte. It is 4-0, Newburyport, Clippers are rolling. And this thing is quickly turning them to a blowout at the graph. 4 0 Clippers, 2.31 to go, second period. Good job, Clippers on the pressure there. The puck came back to Philbin. He let in just a low shot that got through a lot of the traffic. It ended up right on the stick of Curran. And Curran just stayed cool, calm, composed, dragged it to the back end, and went top shelf. Good stuff, Braden Curran. Clippers looking for more off the faceoff. Brennan gets it in deep to Tristan Joyce. Battle down low, Brennan. Brady Curry. Amesbury clears the zone. Puck actually deflects into the Newburyport bench, so we got a whistle with 2.11 to play in the second period. 4 0 Newburyport. Wednesday night, senior night here at the Graff in Newburyport. My name is Drew Mulholland. Newburyport Clippers Hockey, Newburyport, and Amesbury. We had the ceremony with the nine seniors as I look at their big posters all over the rink here. Nice gesture by the Newburyport hockey family. Putting the posters of the seniors up on this senior night. Amesbury looking to try to just get one back here. They've been dominated in the second period, now trailing 4-0 on four Newburyport second period goals. Puck rolls in on Brooks of Newburyport. He's going to take a whistle with 1.50 to go in this second period. 4-0 Newburyport, Wednesday night hockey, Newburyport senior night, Clippers leading Amesbury. I've mentioned this a couple times too, the Amesbury student section really turned out tonight. It's been a good crowd on the Amesbury side. It's just been too much Newburyport here in this second period. Chance of a steal, Pelamino looks to break in all alone for Newburyport, he's hauled down. Borderline penalty shot here. We'll see what they call. Palomino, I don't think, quite had the breakaway, so it's probably just going to be a minor penalty, and it will be. Nathan Brown going to go to the box for Amesbury, but outstanding work by Will Palomino. Blocked the shot, kept, broke through the neutral zone, really worked hard to break free, had a step on the Amesbury defender, and was hauled down with a hook. So good job by Palomino getting a power play here for his Clippers. Final buck 41 to go, second period. Clippers on the power play. Coach Paul Yamin rolls out that top line on the draw. Charles Forrest from Newburyport. He wins it cleanly. Back to Puglio. Puglio throws it in front. Ooh, redirect by Forrest. Just goes wide. Forrest in the corner. Calmly sets up the power play. Amesbury looks tired. Boy, even these penalty killers look tired right now for Amesbury. Wrist shot just goes wide by McHugh. McHugh, I think, just looked to the heavens right there. He has had chances all night. A little bit frustrated. He's had a good game, though. Puck comes back to the point, Puglio. Puglio walks the blue line, wrist shot, tipped by Forrest, just goes wide. Still Newbury ports Puck, back to the point. Zach McHugh, McHugh, he walks the blue line this time. Gets it down low to Philbin. Philbin, wrist shot, high over the glove, just wide. And the goaltender, Marcotte. Puck loose in the corner to the left of Marcotte. Palomino has it in his skates. Tries to kick it back to the point, gets it back to Puglio. Pump fake, Puglio gets it back down low. Palomino in the corner, Forrest back to the point. Puglio has some room now. Puglio, a lot of room. Thinking about letting it fly, lets it go. Glove save by Marcotte, who will gladly take a whistle with 38 seconds to go in this second period. 4 nothing. Newburyport the lead. 
Unless Newburyport scores, they will take this power play into the third period. All Newburyport in this second period. Absolutely dominating what is now a very tired and worked over Amesbury team. Braden Curran on the draw for Newburyport. Needs some help. Amesbury's Matthew Venturi has a chance shorthanded on the breakaway. Venturi drags it in. Big time move to the backhand. Misses wide. Ooh, Venturi kind of caught the Clippers D sleeping just a little bit. Venturi had a good chance shorthanded, but back the other way comes Newburyport. Final 20 seconds of this second period on the attack. Kane Brennan. Nice little spin move by Brennan. Gets it back to the point. Julio, good swing to Philbin. Had some space. Tough bounce there for Philbin. He's going to end up trying to get it down low again here. Final 10 seconds. Six seconds, puck down low. Clippers have to be aware of the time. Philbin is. Now he lets a wrist shot go. It's blocked. A couple blocks there as Philbin desperately tried to get it through. Can't quite do it. And time is going to run out on this second period. A second period that was absolutely dominated by the Newburyport Clippers. Coach Paul Yamin is applauding his guys off the ice here as that is one of the more dominating periods of hockey you will see in the Cape Ann League this year, especially after such a hotly contested first period. I think the depth of Newburyport here just showing in that second period. Amesbury was up to the test. They matched Newburyport in that first period, scoreless first period. Everything was tight. The battles were tight. But in that second period, some of the cracks began to show there for Amesbury. Newburyport puts up a four spot and takes a 4 nothing lead into the second intermission on senior night in Newburyport. These officials right now, I can tell, they're still talking about that door behind me. Newburyport, uh, well, here's the Amesbury goal here in the second period, but for safety reasons, I know they sure, certainly want to make sure the Zamboni doors don't bust open during play again. As the Newburyport Bank Zamboni comes out on the ice here to get us a clean sheet. One more period to play here again. Thank you for joining us. Our NCM Hub crew doing a great job for the television, as always. We hope you enjoy the broadcast of these games. And we're live on the radio tonight, too, which is a uh, what is old is new again moment for me. My name is Drew Mulholland. Newburyport Clippers Hockey on a Wednesday night here in Newburyport. It's been a fun one, and if you are a Newburyport Clippers fan, you're very happy with where we're at right now. And let's do this. I think we'll take a quick break now as the Zamboni begins its roll around here. Let's do that. Joppa radio listeners out there, we appreciate you joining us. My name is Drew Mahalan. Back with the third period action and the second intermission report after this. Wondering if the officials are maybe going to give these guys a little bit of extra time as new report arrives back on the ice. I'm wondering if these guys will get a little bit of uh, extra time here to warm up. Because that was a long break. That was about double the amount of time for your regular intermission because of those Zamboni snow issues. Hasn't snowed too much this winter, but we had quite a bit of snow on the ice at the graph rink here between the second and third period. So I don't know if it was a mechanical issue or bad luck or... or I think I'll stop speculating about what happened with the Zamboni. So the guys are, the new report guys are out there stretching, Amesbury guys doing the same thing here. Looks like the referees are just going to try to get this thing started right away. Both officials immediately go to that Zamboni door. They want to make sure things are good back there. I do not think the officials are happy with that door blowing open twice in this hockey game already. It's where that snow piles up. It's where the Zamboni dumps the snow. And as we mentioned, there was a lot of it. So they get the thumbs up from the Zamboni crew. The official laying a right shoulder into the boards himself, just testing that door. I, I will say that's a pretty good job by these officials because they got the uh, they got the safety of these kids first and foremost. And they won't let this game go on if that door is not shored up. So I, I like the official there. Really, just he, he tried to pretend like he was checking a guy into the boards right there, just making sure that door was shored up. Like I said, I mean, if you drive a player through a door that's loose like that, I mean, that is completely dangerous. So, safety first. Good job. Boards are shored up. The snow is off the ice. Both teams are back on the ice. And here we go. Third period action. Finally, at long last, is underway. Coach, you mean I will get a comment from you later on what just transpired. Newburyport tries to dump it into the Amesbury zone. Big hit there. Knocks McHugh off the puck. Puck comes through to Palomino. 
McHugh looks to get a little revenge. Good hit by McHugh. Puck comes loose to Forrest. Snapshot sneered away. Puck comes back. Good play by Philman to keep it in. Dragon. Good stick work by Philman. Gets it free. Chance there for McHugh. Good drop pass. Wrist shot just goes wide by Forrest. McHugh, loose puck, gets it back to the point. Wrist shot, Puglio just goes wide. Max Puglio with a good chance. Philbin gets it in, wraps it around the board. And Newburyport's going to have to tag up, actually. Puck came out of the blue line. Turn over, though. Amesbury turned it right over, but they get it right back. Good play by Amesbury's Hunter Belisle. Belisle tries to drop it back for some help. Intercepted by Newburyport. Back the other way, Palomino. Gets it up to McHugh. McHugh is one on four in the Amesbury end. Loses the puck. Never really had it. McHugh on the full check. Braden Curran now down there. Curran trying to work it free in the Amesbury zone. Gets around two guys. Good pass. Wrist shot. Zach McHugh is again gloved by the goaltender Marcotte. Trey Marcotte. 13.48 to go. Marcotte takes the whistle. We'll have a face off in the Amesbury zone. 4 0. Newburyport leads Amesbury on Wednesday night, senior night in Newburyport. Braden Curran on the draw for the Clippers. Wins it clean right back. Wrist shot blocked by Trist Tristan Joyce's wrist shot. Never got through. Here comes Amesbury with a chance. Golden opportunity. Amesbury's wrist shot. Oh, good back check. It was Hunter Belial with the chance. Kane Brennan on the back check knocked it away. And back the other way comes Newburyport. In the blue line. Brennan, good pass. One, one timer. Score! Beautiful pass by Kane Brennan. He got it all started on the back check. It's going to be Tristan Joyce finishing off in front. Wow, Tristan Joyce gets the goal. Immediately, Tristan Joyce gave a point to Kate, a point to the finger to Kane Brennan saying, nice job, buddy, because that was really Brennan's work all the way down in the defensive end to start. On the back check, Kane Brennan hustling back, forcing the turnover. Then he got that puck on the offensive end. Fed it over to Tristan Joyce, and Newburyport now has a 5-0 lead here over Amesbury. Early minutes, third period. The snow delay did not affect the Clippers' momentum. Back the other way comes Newburyport. Little miscommunication there. Has the Clippers having to retreat at center ice. Max Puglio dumps it in. Clippers have tagged up. They go back in on the forecheck. Markov throws it up the boards. Puck loose at the Amesbury blue line. Now loose at center ice. Battle there. Right in front of the penalty box. Cooper is able to corral it. Ryan Philbin. Ooh, drag. Tried to step around a player. Turn over there. Chance here for Richard. For Amesbury. The shot goes wide. Again, good back check. That time it was Puglio, the defenseman, able to catch up and force that play wide. Wrist shot. St. Brooks. Rebound. Chance again there for Richard. Could not... Get a clean handle on it. Hunter Bilal helping out there, but Clippers are able to clear the zone. Puck now down in the Amesbury zone. Puck thrown in front by Owen Cruz. He was looking for Forrest of Newburyport. They don't connect. Puck comes free to center ice. A little bit of Hunter Skelp reaction here. Third period, early moments of the third period with Newburyport taking a 5 nothing lead. Will Palomino, the shot goes wide of the Amesbury goal. Forrest is there for Newburyport, stops the breakout. Amesbury trying to clear the zone. They do. Goes to Newburyport at center ice. Palomino trying to battle it, gets it free to Forrest, tries to drop it back for Palomino. Good chance, Palomino pump fakes, missed it wide. Good little move there by Palomino. Held it for just an extra second, created some space, just missed it wide. Puck still loose in the Amesbury zone. Amesbury clears, back to getting his Caponegro behind his own goal for Newburyport. Throws it up to center ice, McHugh tried to tip it in deep, couldn't quite do it, but McHugh gets it right back. Good move by McHugh at the Amesbury blue line, gets it into the zone. McHugh, good stick work, good skating, throws a wrist shot in. Puck is loose, Forrest with a redirect on the wrist shot. Tried to spin around, Forrest did. Saved by Marcotte, and a penalty is going to go against Amesbury as Cade and Eisenman get tripped up. Amesbury is going to go to the box. Brody Marcotte does not like the call. I'm actually not sure I love that call either. I'm not sure the official got it. I'm going to be honest with you. He was right next to the play, almost like he was kind of too close to it. And it was, I kind of think it was more like two guys getting tangled up. Brody Marcotte was not happy with the call. Had a few words for the official, and I kind of see Brody's point there. 
Not to mention in a 5 nothing game, it's a bit of a tough break to get a tough call against you. It really looked like two guys getting tangled up more than a trip, but nevertheless, Newburyport to the power play here, and they win the faceoff in the Amesbury zone, looking to extend on a 5 nothing lead. Philbin at the point, swings it to Puglio. Puglio at the doorstep, looking for help. Puglio now in the slot, wrist shot, blocker save Marcotte. Puck comes through to Tristan Joyce in the corner, back to the point. Ryan Philbin, Philbin to Joyce, oh, big time hit by Philbin at the point, sent the Amesbury player flying. Marcotte has a wrist shot come in on him, he gloves it and takes a whistle. 10.47 to go, third period, 5-0, Newburyport the lead. My name is Drew Mulholland, Newburyport Clippers Hockey on a Wednesday night. Our NCM Hub team bringing you the television coverage. We are also live on Chopper Radio for those of you listening out there. Newburyport Clippers Hockey on the radio, that sounds good to say. Face off one by the Clippers. Wrist shot Pulio redirected. Amesbury trying to clear. Pulio keeps it in. Swings it around at the blue line to Joyce. Turnover there. Nice play by 25 Matthew Venturi of Amesbury. He's one on two. Let's a wrist shot go from a distance. Saved by Jameson Brooks, who's been steady as always. I'm yet to see this kid give up a goal here. Jameson Brooks looking for a second shutout in a row. 10.22 left to get it. Here's a chance. Score! Newbury Court. Back the other way. Quickly in transition. The Clippers light the lamp for a sixth time. It is going to be Braden Curran in the goal for the Clippers. Another one for Braden, and the Clippers lead at 6 0. Good, quick transition offense from Newburyport, and they have Amesbury completely on their heels here. This is an Amesbury team that is just tired. They do not have the depth that Newburyport does. That's a thank you, Braden chant from the Newburyport student section. And I'll tell you what I do like right there Maddox LeBlanc underclassman too he's only a sophomore sophomore forward Maddox LeBlanc of Amesbury went over to his goaltender Trey Marcotte and gave him a tap on the pads because I will tell you six nothing game can get tough on a goaltender this is not a goaltender not playing well this is a Newburyport onslaught right here and I think that's all LeBlanc wanted to say there to his goaltender you're playing well man it's on us hang in there 10 minutes to go keep your head up look for Maddox LeBlanc to maybe wear a captain's patch someday I would think with that kind of leadership as a sophomore very impressive impressive out of him we have a whistle here off the face off with 9.52 to play I think the officials had a delayed off sides there off the face off so 6 nothing. the new report lead 9.52 to play in this third period always a good rivalry new report and Amesbury senior night here for the Clippers Face off in the Newburyport zone to the left of the goaltender Brooks. That'll be the concern now for the Clippers. They want to see if they can get Brooks a second consecutive shutout. Maybe it's me. I've been in the rink for these last two games. They're going to keep having me back here. Brooks continues to not let up a goal. Good team effort, too, defensively by Newburyport. We should mention that. Clippers, very tough, stingy defensively. Puck in the Ansbury zone. Clippers cycling well, puck in front, shot there by McHugh. Forrest fed him nicely in the slot. I've said that a few times tonight. I think Forrest may be trying to get McHugh a goal because <laughs> McHugh, I know, is frustrated with all those chances. These guys have had a great game. This line has been fantastic. Palomino out there trying to free up loose puck behind the Ansbury goal. He does, oh, force a turnover. There's Forrest, first shot in front. Oh, just missed. Might have got a little bit of the post. Palomino, good pressure, forced that turnover. Forrest had it point blank in front of the net. Now Forrest behind the net, looking for McHugh. Forrest decides to try to stuff it short side. That doesn't work out. Amesbury able to corral the puck and skate it out of their own zone. Good job by Hunter Belisle. Hunter Belisle, I feel like, has logged. What have we played? We played about, uh, my math tells me, 36 minutes of hockey here. Feels like Belisle has played 30 minutes of it. I know that's not true, but... He's been out there all night, it seems. Puck in the Newburyport zone. Caponegro back to get it for the Clippers. Look at that skating by Caponegro. Ooh. Nasty turns on a dime. Puck loose behind the Newburyport goal. Eisenman trying to free it loose. Gets it to Caponegro. Good tic-tac-toe passing here by the Clippers. Owen Cruz. Owen Cruz got it up to Zach McHugh. Clippers are off sides there. They're going to have to tag up. It's going to give Amesbury a chance to clear the zone. Stretch pass. Amesbury does not work out. Joey Duggan is looking for a chance to break free. Couldn't play to it. Amesbury able to keep it in, however. A little bit of pressure here from Amesbury. Still battling out there. Brady Burnham loses that puck. 
Puck is free in front of the Newburyport net, but Caponigo calmly grabs it, works it out to center ice, and there's Oliver Pons. He dumps it in, Clippers chase in after it. Seven and a half to go, third period. Six nothing, Newburyport leads Amesbury on senior night at the Graf Rink in Newburyport. My name is Drew Mahone. Again, thank you to our great NCM Hub team at the rink and back at the studios, bringing you the television coverage here for the cable and live on the radio, Joppa Radio. We appreciate the support, community, and hopefully you uh, got this hockey game in one way, whether it be on the road or at home. Big time hit at center ice. We're gonna have an interference call here against Newburyport as Amesbury's Nathan Brown went flying. Max Puglio laid a shoulder into him. It was uh, just a little bit late. And by a little bit late, I mean a lot late. No argument from the captain, Max Puglio, who goes to the penalty box. Puglio to the box, interference the call on the captain, number five for Newburyport to the box for two minutes. All right, so Amesbury will try to ruin the shutout streak here with Brooks. They win the draw, wrist shot, Brooks saved. Tough one there, Newburyport clears. It's a good tester there. Brooks shores up the five hole. Good job by the D to clear the zone. Amesbury has to go back and reset. Puck dumped into the Newburyport zone. Back to get it is Ryan Kilbin for the Clippers. Amesbury able to grab the puck in the corner, but it give it right back to Newburyport. Clippers clear the zone. Charles Forrest chasing after it. He's looking to line up Richard. Forrest and Richard collide in the corner. Good job by Forrest taking on two Amesbury men. Now three. Forrest just killing time in the corner in the Amesbury zone, just using his strength, using his skates. Look at this, a one-man penalty kill. Fantastic work by Charles Forrest. That's gonna make the coaching staff of the Clippers call you mean smile. Forrest redirects that puck, chips it into the Amesbury zone. And yeah, the coaching staff there, he's getting a lot of fist pumps, Charles Forrest is. That is a good penalty kill by that man. Fending off three Amesbury players in the Amesbury zone. Not even Ames letting Amesbury get out of the zone. It's still in the Amesbury zone as I speak. Amesbury just having a tough time getting through this Newburyport trap, even with the five on four advantage for 45 more seconds. Now here comes Amesbury. Wrist shot just goes wide. There's a good chance that time by Hunter Belisle. But it's one chance and really done here. Newburyport sends it down the pond. Back to get it is Bedard. Has to circle around his own goal for Amesbury. 5.40 to play in this hockey game. 30 seconds left on the Amesbury power play. Marcotte, Brian Brody Marcotte with some good stick work. Trying to get it through and it's offsides as Marcotte hadn't cleared the zone. Riley Geerton brought it in. Offsides Amesbury. We will have a neutral zone faceoff. 17 seconds left on the Amesbury power play. 5.29 left in this hockey game. 5.29 left in senior night for Newburyport. And it has been a good one. 6-0 the Clippers lead. 5.29 left to play. Clippers win the draw. Send it down the pond. 10 seconds left in the power play. One last rush for Amesbury if they hustle with the man advantage. It just doesn't look like Amesbury has the legs right now. It, it, that first period, they came out flying. 0-0 zero, zero game. Since then, it has just been all Newburyport. Four second period goals. Made it 4-0 coming into the third. Two more here from Newburyport. I've made this thing a 6-0 hockey game. All Clippers tonight on a Wednesday night at the Graf. Newburyport trying to work it out of their own zone here. Jackson DeVivo getting some ice time. Trying to pitch this puck free to Brian Lucy. Lucy goes look to throw his body around. Puck comes through to Colby Arell. Arell looking to take on two Amesbury men. Takes a hit, makes a play, trips it in the corner. Good job by Arell, staying with the four check. Another big hit in there by Brian Lucy. They force a turnover, puck thrown in front. Shot, big save, Marcotte. Puck is loose in front of the Amesbury goal. Newburyport looking for a seventh here. Wrist shot, in, goal! It's Colby Arell, the junior forward. Colby Arell buries it. What great work. That is not the first time that third line of Newburyport has put a lot of pressure on Amesbury tonight. Coach Yamin has rewarded them with lots of ice time because of those previous solid shifts. And how about that? Colby Arell, number 23 of Newburyport, makes it 7 0. Clippers over Amesbury. Thank you, Amesbury wins the draw into the Newburyport zone. Wrist shot blocked. 
Hayden Wilson getting some time. Defenseman for Newburyport. Tries to make it free. Shot in front. Blocked. Back the other way comes William Forrest of Newburyport. William Forrest now, the lefty in the slot. Wrist shot, Forrest just goes wide. A couple of these guys that don't get a lot of playing time all the time, getting some spins out there now from Coach Amin and the coaching staff in a 7-0 game. And a frustrated Amesbury team now. We had some behind the play action going on. Referee is going to try to keep control of this hockey game and give some matching penalties as it's going to be 11 for Amesbury to the box. Nathan Brown and Cole Bopalance, a familiar hockey name here in this city. Cole Bopalance going to go to the bench. I think that was Cole's first shift of the game, so I kind of like it in a 7-0 game. We'll get on, the, get on the stat sheet here with a two-minute minor penalty. I know at least one coach on that Newburyport bench is laughing a little bit. Amesbury trying to work it out of the zone. <clears throat> and they do successfully. Here comes Marcott. He loses it. Good job by the Clippers D. Oliver Pons has it. Works it up through center ice. Puck loose in the neutral zone. Chance here for Amesbury. It's Joey Duggan. Right side. Wrist shot score. There goes the shutout streak. As Joey Duggan came storming down the right side for Amesbury. And he beats the goaltender, Jameson Brooks. Right pad. It's a good shot by Duggan. He came through the neutral zone with speed, quickly across the blue line, and just let a quick whistle go. And he, he puts Amesbury on the board, lights the lamp, and it is a 7-1 to Newburyport lead now with three and a half to go in this third period. Tough for Jameson Brooks to lose the shutout at that point. I will say it feels it's been a pretty good effort by Amesbury, though. I mean, like I said, they battled in that first period, and I really just think the depth the lack of depth or maybe give Newburyport credit for their depth, but that's what's caught up to them tonight. It's just tired legs. Newburyport has been on them, second period on. But Amesbury is probably deserving of the goal tonight. Going to be another penalty against Newburyport here, and we got some extra stuff going on after the whistle. The initial call was definitely against Newburyport. I think Jackson DeVivo is going to go. It's funny here, a lot of these guys are Newburyport that don't get the regular shifts seeing some time in a 7-1 hockey game now or finding their way to the penalty box. I think uh, Coach Amin might be saying, boys, I put you out there. Let's not end up in the box. Let's go. Something to laugh about, though, in a 7-1 hockey game. 3-13 to go. It is just going to be that one penalty. I thought there could have been a chance that the uh, one of the Amesbury defenders might have went for a late hit after the whistle, but the ref, I think rightfully so, let that go. Newburyport clears the zone here. This will take us under the three-minute mark. Amesbury on the power play for another two minutes here, trailing Newburyport 7-1 on Newburyport Senior Night. It has been a good senior night for the Clippers. Massive hit at Sun Rice. Body's going flying. Hunter Belisle down for Amesbury, but a chance for Amesbury here. Shot is in on Brooks. It is Joey Duggan with the redirect. Brooks makes the save and covers it up. Keeping an eye on number 15, Brody Marcotte. Make sure he's okay. He took a big hit. I think it was Zach McHugh with the big hit at center ice. And yeah, Marcotte uh, just took a seat on the back of the Amesbury bench. He's a little shaken up. Looks like he'll be okay, but big hit. Face off in the Newburyport zone. Won by Colby Orell. Clippers can't quite clear the zone. Kept into the point with a shot wide of Brooks. Puck behind the Newburyport goal. Weird bounce off the stanchion. Ends up clearing this puck to center ice. Amesbury dumps it in, but they're going to have to tag up. They were off sides. Back to get it is Philbin for Newburyport. He sends it all the way down the pond. That looked easy. Just sent it high over everybody. Good four check on the penalty kill by Newburyport's Colby Orell. Amesbury gets it back, however. A minute to go on the Amesbury power play. 2-10 to go in this hockey game. 7-1 Newburyport the lead. Four goals in the second for the Clippers. Three here in the third. Puck loose at the Newburyport blue line. It is sent down the pond by Max Puglio. First to it is Newburyport. Oh, good short side chance by Owen Cruz. Just goes wide. Amesbury looking to drag it out of the zone. 35 seconds to go on the power play. Puck loose at center ice. Amesbury dumps it in. Back to get it for Newburyport is Owen Cruz. Can't quite clear. Puck comes right back to Cruz in the corner. Philbin and Cruz look at each other. A little bit of a mis miscommunication there. 
Clippers able to clear the zone. Puck loose at center ice. Colby Arell, one on two Arell. Good battle down low. Gonna kill off. Still got about 10 seconds left in this Amesbury power play. Not much doing on it. Amesbury's offside. They're gonna have to tag up, and that is the end of the power play. 1-10 to go in this hockey game. Final minute to play. Skating with the puck for Midway Ford is Max Puglio. Oh, what a move by Puglio. Beautiful move. Shot and score. Max Puglio, coast to coast. Beautiful move through the neutral zone, across the blue line. Does a little bird celebration. I don't know if he's an Eagles fan or if that's an inside joke I'm unaware of, but with a minute to go in this hockey game, Max Puglio on a beautiful goal. Nasty gives Newburyport the eight to one lead here in this third period. The officials are talking to the Amesbury bench now. I don't know what is going on. The Amesbury coaching staff is not happy with the officials, but something. I think the Newburyport coaching staff has the same questions I do. What are we talking about here in an eight one hockey game? The period that started with a Zamboni snow delay ends with an official's delay. Oh, I see what we got. Somebody did something for Amesbury. It's going to be a, maybe a taunting or something after the goal. I'm not sure. Brady Burnham, senior forward of Amesbury, goes to the box. So that's what the Amesbury coaching staff was upset about. Clearly some frustration all around for Amesbury here. It's been a tough night at the draft for this Amesbury team. Now another Clipper is going to go to the box. Referees doing the best they can to keep control of this thing. Never easy when a game gets to 8-1. Final minute of a hockey game. Amesbury, they're a prideful group, of course, just like Newburyport is. And when you're down 8-1, to you feel like you left it all out there. It's, you know, it's always tough to swallow, so. Referees just trying to keep control. Face off to the left of Brooks in the Newburyport zone. Won by the Clippers. They clear the zone. Back to get it for Amesbury. They dump it in. We're actually playing full run four hockey here too, as I noticed. I think we had a matching penalty there at some point. There's no B in the Newburyport box as I speak with you right now, but maybe somebody had to go to the locker room possibly. Not exactly sure what happened there, but Needless to say, it does not really Thank matter. You, 17 seconds to Thank go. You, Classy senior. move here. Thank you, seniors chant from the Newburyport student section on senior night. 8 to 1 the score. The scoreboard does read 7 to 1. But that last goal by Pulio did make it 8 to 1. Final 10 seconds. Ansbury trying to clear the zone. They do. That one final shot in on Brooks goes wide. Three seconds left, two and one. And that will do it here from senior night in Newburyport. A commanding victory. Scoreboard reads seven to one, unless that last goal was uh, not counted for some reason. I think that's just a scoreboard error. Final score here, eight to one Clippers from the graph in Newburyport on senior night. Good all around win from Newburyport. A tough first period. Both teams went to the locker room 0 0, but Newburyport just took control after that. Paul Yamian going to be very happy with his guys. And uh, all smiles from the Newburyport coaching staff as both teams shake hands at center ice. One final thank you to our NCM Hub television crew, our small but mighty team that gets it all done here at the rink and back at the studio. Thank you all so much. And it was fun to go live on the radio tonight on Senior Night. Joppa Radio. We hope you got a good chance to listen, whether you're driving around tonight or I don't know, whatever you're doing. Hope you had fun out there. All right. My name's Drew Mulholland. This has been fun. Newburyport Clippers hockey. Big win for the Clippers. They improve to 9, 6, and 2. I'm Drew Mulholland. Thank you for joining us.